Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Nicole Frolic, I'm a Flexible Me, and I'm gonna give you another video on telomeres. It's, it's actually my most popular video, and so I can tell you guys want this information. So I, in that video, I talked about uh, what telomeres are and uh, how to uh, increase the length of them through a lot of different supplements uh, that you can take. Uh, and also I did touch on other things like exercise, meditation, and that sort of thing that also I'll help increase the length of telomeres. But today I want to go into more detail on the meditation and deep breathing. Now, for those of you who haven't seen the video, if you don't know what telomeres are, they're basically the protective caps at the end of our chromosomes. So they're like a DNA protein that protect our chromosomes. And as we um, think of them like the, the ends of shoelaces, those little caps on the ends of shoelaces. Uh, if you didn't have them, your shoelaces would fray. It'd be hard to get them through the, the shoelace holes. Okay, so that's kind of like what the chromosomes would look like if we didn't have the tel telomeres on them. Now, as we age, the uh, our cells start to split and uh, these telomeres get shorter and shorter and shorter. And it is believed that there are only amount, a finite amount of times that a cell can split before it actually dies off. So um, things that speed up this splitting process are like stress and, and um, disease and, and all of that. However, it is now being shown that you can actually increase not just the telomere, the telomere length, but you can also increase the amount of times a cell is going to split. I think it's been said you can double it now. Uh, so first of all, there are two studies that I've been read, I read up on that show that there was um, one done on prostate cancer survivors and one done on breast cancer survivors. So the one on prostate cancer was done out of the University of California, and it was done on, I believe, men that have just recently come out of their treatment for prostate cancer. I think it had been three months. And so these men uh, were basically separated into groups, and one group was doing these mindful meditation, deep breathing, light yoga, that sort of thing. And at the end of the three month study, they were able to see that not only were these men who did the mindfulness in the mindfulness group have maintained their telomere length, but it actually increased. And so they're, and they were shocked that over just three months, this is really cool, that after just three months, they were able to see a significant difference that in, in the telomere lengths of those who didn't and those who did. So you can actually make an impact on your own physical health and aging process within three months is what this study is saying. And um, so there was that one, and then there was one done with 88 women uh, who had gone through breast cancer treatment. Uh, they had been two years after their treatment, and they went into this study, and they were broken up into three groups, uh, all, and their groups were chosen randomly, that one was doing mindfulness, uh, the other one was also doing some sort of level of mindfulness, and then one group that didn't. And the group that didn't had shortened telomeres by the end of the three months. And the group that the two groups that did were, uh, they didn't lose any length in their telomeres. So you now have two studies that are indicating that there is definitely an impact on meditation and deep breathing to our biological structures. Uh, so this is very interesting. Now, what I really want to talk about is the idea of breath and that if you go into the Sanskrit word prana, it means life force, spirit, breath is what it actually means too. So um, when we breathe, when we start to move out of an unconscious breathing pattern and move into a conscious breathing pattern where we're deepening our breath, we're increasing our breath, breathing in through the nose, filling the entire body, um, holding the breath sometimes and then exhaling slowly. This is starting to not only deepen the amount of oxygen that's coming into your body, but you're also starting to impact uh, the, the way your energy moves within your body. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because there's also correlations now that show that certain frequencies increase your telomere length. And if there's anything that I've talked a lot about on this channel, and if you haven't looked at these videos yet, then I highly suggest you do. But I talk about the different frequency levels of our emotions and uh, how that impacts our consciousness. And so things like anger, um, 
when you're not motivated, when you are less willing to do things, uh, if you're procrastinating, it's because you're less willing. If you're maybe really feeling guilty all the time about certain things, or you're feeling a lot of levels of shame within you, these are really low frequencies and they affect the health of your body. They're correlated with disease. They're correlated with uh, the breakdown and the aging process of our bodies. So when you start to move into a more joyful state, uh, states that are a higher frequency, things like uh, willingness, courage, joy, love, then you are actually increasing the frequency of your body, your physical body. Now, for those of you who don't understand what that means, because uh, you're not really familiar with energy, like we're all made up of energy and, and everything has a frequency. So you can actually impact the frequency of your own body by doing this deep breathing. Uh, and when you do that, that actually has an impact on your telomeres uh, being lengthened. Now, getting back to the breath, for a lot of you, you probably don't know that when I was in my 20s, uh, I learned how to analyze live blood cells under a dark field microscope. And the reason why I did this is because I'm a visual person. I really need to see things to really understand them. Uh, someone just speaks it to me, I don't really grasp it. Uh, I really need to see things. And so um, what I did was I took these courses in live cell analysis with one of the most reputable doctors in North America, and I learned how to analyze blood cells. And when you take a sample for a live blood cell uh, sample, the, the blood is not damaged. Uh, when, you, when you go to the doctors and take your blood, it, it, it gets damaged instantly and it's killed. There is a way to draw blood from the body uh, without damaging it. You have to be very gentle. It's basically a finger prick. You bring the blood up to the surface very gently and you place that blood on a sample slide and then you put it under the microscope. What happens is under this dark field microscope, you can see literally how your blood is looking in your body in that very moment. Uh, so it's like a microscopic view into the river of blood, your life force inside your body, which I think is really, really cool. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is because I'm going to show you guys a picture here of uh, red blood cells. And you can see these are very healthy blood cells. Uh, they're almost perfectly round. Their cell wall is intact, which is very important. When your cell wall uh, loses its integrity, uh, that's when nutrients can't get into the cell and that's when toxins can't get out. And when toxins stay in there, then that's when your uh, cells start to become damaged, the telomeres start shortening, and that's when you have cells that then eventually die off. And that's how we look older, is when these cells die off, you have these dead cells floating around your body and that's what shows the aging process. So um, here is a picture of your cells walls that don't look so healthy. As you can see, some of them are not completely round. They're a little bit more oval. They're losing their shape. Some are actually jagged. Uh, this is the indication that their uh, cells are starting to age. The cells are starting to lose their health. And um, they're... The reason why I think this is important to understand is because, and the reason why I'm tying it into the breath, is because our red blood cells carry oxygen. Uh, and when your cell walls lose their integrity, uh, they lose the surface area, because the su surface area of how much oxygen they can carry becomes less and less and less. So you're now, your cells aren't able to be at their full capacity of how much oxygen they can take to the rest of your body. So when you can, deepen your breathing and bring in more oxygen, you're actually alkalizing your body, which is removing a lot of acid uh, from the bloodstream. So you're taking the pH level of your blood and you're alkalizing it. Uh, very important for health. We know that when there are diseases, it's an indication of a low pH. And when we have healthy bodies, the cells have a higher pH in the blood. So just know that your deepened breathing actually helps to alkalize and improve the health of your cells. There are also other things that you do nutritionally, supplement-wise, uh, that are very important. But uh, just from the breath standpoint, I want you to understand how important it is that we have healthy cells because the healthier we are, the more oxygen we can carry into our body. And the, that is our life force. And we go back to that word prana. Now, if you're able to take that life force and bring it everywhere in your body, 
then you're increasing the telomere lengths of all of your DNA, all of your cells everywhere. So I think this is really cool for us to understand how the breath work really works on a cellular level. Now, from a meditation perspective, I wanted to let you all know that I've been strongly guided to do a guided meditation on this telomeres and uh, reversing the aging process. So I'm gonna be doing, putting together a guided meditation and when I release it, uh, I'll let you all know through my newsletter. So if you're not signed up, please do uh, go to inflexibleme.com. You can sign up for my newsletter. There's a button right there on the homepage. Um, or, or if you're not interested, just stick around for when that video gets released. But um, I also want to give you guys something now to use that you can put to use today. And, you know, visualization is so important. So here's a picture of the telomeres on the chromosomes. And use this picture in your mind when you go into meditation. Uh, even if you're just closing your eyes, play some music that really takes you to a place that is calming for you. I, whatever that is. Some people it's, um, it's spa-like music. Some people it's Tibetan singing bowls. Some people it's something else. Like whatever it is that works for you, use it. And that just helps to keep your mind a little bit busier. Also, if you're choosing high frequency music, your cells hear it. I know that sounds ridiculous to some people, but your body literally hears everything. Your, your consciousness is embedded in your cells. Your consciousness is embedded in your cells. So when you listen to music that's got this high frequency, your cells start to hear it. It literally starts to change the way their structure is. Um, so very much, you know, that's a frequency. Sound is a frequency. So very much like how we are all made up of energy. If you understand that, then this concept isn't that hard to grasp. I know for some it may seem a little out there and they don't get it, but if you really understand that we are all made up of energy, all matter, that, you know, this table here that I, I've got in front of me, it's made up of energy, it all carries a frequency. So knowing that, then you know that sounds can really alter how your body responds. Uh, but in your meditation, visualize your telomeres lengthening. Now that you know what they look like, you know what your chromosomes kind of look like, you can kind of go in there and start paying attention to chromosomes in your body and your lengthening of the telomeres and watch the telomeres start getting longer and longer and longer. And you can also say things that are very uh, supportive um, to this idea. So you can say, I am, uh, I am abundantly healthy. I have a very strong vitality. I have, um, I am the life force of health. So there's a multitude of things you can say that will help you. So if you need, if you're someone who needs like a mantra, uh, then that's something that could work for you as well. Uh, now, as you see these telomeres lengthening, know this, because this is based on quantum manifestation uh, skills and the protocols that Marina Jacoby puts out. Again, one of my favorite um, uh, people right now who's putting out fantastic information, Marina Jacoby, Quantum Manifestation. If you haven't watched it, go over to her YouTube channel, The Harmonic Reactor, and start watching from video one. It will change your life. It has literally helped me use this visualization technique um, to bring everything that I want into my now and understanding how quantum manifestation works, how jumping timelines works. It's all in there. And you, when you really understand these protocols, you start to realize how much control you will have over your reality. And so using that in conjunction with the information that I'm giving you today on telomere lengthening is going to be so powerful for you in a meditation. So when you are lengthening these telomeres in your meditation, you see them growing longer, know that it is happening right now. Know that it is happening in this very moment. It's not happening three months from now. It's not happening next year. It's happening now. And you have to believe it. Believing uh, our beliefs are so important to forming our realities. What we don't realize is there are a lot of beliefs in our subconscious that we're not aware of that are absolutely uh, trashing all of our work that we're doing on the conscious level. So pay attention to the workings of your mind, uh, the, that little voice that we don't always hear until we're a little bit more self-reflective. We're going within and we're becoming a little bit more silent, uh, listening for that little voice that is nagging in the background and sometimes not saying the nicest things about ourselves. You want to pay attention to that. Our beliefs are very important. So use this idea in your meditation of watching the telomeres lengthen and I believe 
just because I know it works for me in my life and everything else I'm applying it to, so I now I'm going to start using this myself, um, is that it absolutely can work because we do have control over our reality to some degree. Now, yes, genetics play a role. We all have predispositions uh, genetically. Uh, some of us are a little more fortunate than others, uh, but I do believe that we can alter the genetic expression to some degree. Uh, and this is one of the ways. So deep in breathing and meditation are two ways that you can not only start to slow down the aging process, but reverse the aging process. And I think if you've ever seen anyone who's maybe had um, an alcohol problem or a drug problem and they get clean and you see them sober after like a year, they look so much healthier. You, they, they, where they may have looked really old and haggard and worn out, you know, bags under their eyes, gray, dark circles, their skin looks gray and thin, uh, their hair doesn't look as strong, like things like this. And then you see them a year later and they look absolutely, uh, you know, full of more life. Uh, they're, everything just looks healthier, uh, more brightness in the eyes. Uh, I know people who have gone through this and I've seen the changes and that just goes to show you that you can start to reverse the aging process. This can absolutely be done. And obviously the sooner you start, the less work you have cut out for you. So imp imp uh, implement it right now into your uh, daily routine. Know that these studies that were done were done daily. So, um, and when I say that, I mean that all the participants did this daily. So they did 60 minutes. 45 minutes to 60 minutes of mindfulness, whether it was meditation, deep breath, or gentle yoga. And so start implementing it into your day. What I like to do is 20 minutes of deep breath work. The, the, here's, um, here's a technique I'm going to give you guys. The breath of life. I love it. It's easy, and everyone can do it. And all you do is you breathe in through your nose to the count of seven. You hold your breath for three seconds. You tilt your nose back down towards your heart center and you exhale through your nose into your heart. Now, the reason why this is really cool is because it's a very self-loving breath work. Uh, you are literally filling your whole heart up with life force. And so I love this one. And so you just keep repeating that over and over and over for 20 minutes. And 20 minutes is really a good amount of time for you to start making some change. I mean, if you don't, if you can't start there. If 20 minutes just feels too long for you, five minutes, 10 minutes, start somewhere. Uh, the more you do it, the more you're going to start to see that it actually affects and impacts how you start your day. It'll impact how people start to interact with you and you'll want, and you'll just start to feel good when you do it. And you're going to want to do it longer. Think about it for a second. Why do we not want to do things that make us feel good for longer? Of course we do. So this is one way that you can actually um, implement part of that 45 minute to 60 minute mindfulness in your day. Then you have the option of doing maybe 20 or 30 minutes of meditation. Uh, you can do the telomeres meditation that I just talked about, or you can do some gentle yoga, uh, stretching, something that, you know, will help facilitate this telomere lengthening, this biological effect that your mindfulness is going to have on your body. So that's it for today, guys. I hope this information is helpful. I know that um, this is a, a really interesting topic for a lot of you. I know you're all looking for more information on it. And so I wanted to put this video out. Um, if you guys are interested in staying updated on anything that I'm putting out, please head on over to my website, buxlamy.com. I have a newsletter there that you can sign up for. I am going to be releasing these videos or these meditations, these guided meditations soon, and that will be the first place that people find out about it. Uh, so if you want to have access to that, uh, when they do come out, then you're going to want to sign up for the newsletter. And, uh, if you want to listen to my podcast, I have a podcast in iTunes and lighten up. It comes out every Thursday for friends, uh, just talking about all varied amount of topics on the spiritual journey. Uh, we have fun guests coming on. In fact, for July, I have some great guests lined up. I'm really excited for the shows coming out and, uh, that's it guys. I, I love doing this. I love giving out the information. If you guys have information you want to share with me, please leave it in the comments below. I love some of the information some of you guys are like sharing with me. There, you guys have shared some great books, other videos, articles. So please keep doing that. There are other people I'm sure that would love to see that. And um, that's it. Uh, so until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Love you all.